This is Riva, the new standard in IV automation that prepares IV admixtures for multiple size syringes and bags accurately and quickly. The video that you are about to see is shot at approximately 10 to 15 percent of the normal full speed and is also only showing a single thread of operation. In full production, Riva is able to prepare from 70 to 100 doses per hour of chemo and hazardous IV admixtures, as well as antibiotic IV admixtures in its self-enclosed environment. It is perfectly suited for both adult and pediatric doses of full chemo and non-chemo dose preparations. The 5 by 10 foot Riva unit can receive orders from your pharmacy information system 24 hours a day. Once an order is received, Reba determines what supplies are needed and informs the operator what drugs and supplies to load in each rack. At any time, an order can be moved up in the process queue or a stat order inserted for immediate preparation. Here, an order requiring a reconstituted file is received. Reba determines there are none, so a reconstitution step is initiated. Reba ensures dose accuracy with appropriate amounts of drugs and dilutants and virtually eliminates cross-contamination. Reva performs two forms of visual verification to ensure the proper vial is used. A high resolution 260 degree bitmap comparison and a barcode scan. Reva uses a high energy UV light system to sanitize the vial and bag ports. The empty vial is also weighed at this point. This is important as it is compared to the vial's weight after its reconstitution to confirm accuracy. Reva now rotates the racks to find the syringe needed to transfer the fluid to reconstitute the vial. The syringe cap is removed and disposed of in a standard Sharps container inside Riva. The syringe is loaded into the needle down syringe manipulator. Now for the dilutant. Like the violet syringe, the bag is retrieved and verified in case the incorrect bag has been placed in the rack. Like the vial, there are two visual verifications. The high resolution bitmap image and the barcode scan. The bag is also weighed at this stage. The data is stored for before and after accuracy comparison and becomes part of the permanent electronic record available for every dose preparation. This record is a valuable tool for QA in the pharmacy and an important part of ongoing pharmacy dose record management. Bags are pre-primed by REPA and the appropriate amount of diluent drawn. Using the customizable tables in REPA, each pharmacy can dictate the exact reconstitution strategy for each diluent combination, as each hospital may have a different strategy for pediatrics and adults, for example. The tables tell REPA for each drug diluent combination the amount of diluent required and the reconstitution mix profile, including speed, duration of mixing, and the settling time required. With two mixing racks with 12 clips each, Reba can reconstitute up to 24 vials simultaneously with various mix speeds. The reconstituted drug is now injected into the drug vial using the appropriate technique, leaving a slightly negative pressure in the vial upon completion. The vial is weighed again. The difference between the empty vial and the full one must be within plus or minus 5% of the expected total weight based on specific gravity. If not, the vial is placed in a separate reject area within Reva and the operator is alerted that there was an issue with this step. The vial is placed under one of the mixers and is mixed according to the drug mix profile. When the mixing and settling time is complete, the reconstituted vial is ready for use. Reba now retrieves the required dose syringe, verifying it has the right one by comparing the diameter of the syringe to that requested. The needle cap is removed from the syringe and disposed of in the standard Sharps container. The empty syringe is weighed in another fail-safe measure to ensure accuracy. The dose bag is drawn into the syringe using Reba's needle up syringe manipulator. the dose is drawn, the syringe is weighed again. The difference between the empty and full syringe must be within plus or minus 5% of the expected weight difference. Because there is quite a bit of variability in syringes, especially with smaller sized ones, weighing the syringe before and after eliminates the risk of variability from the syringe weight. The 
needle is removed from the syringe. At the capping station, Riva uses a camera to determine exactly where each syringe cap is, then caps it. Printers are isolated from the sterile compounding area to maintain Riva's ISO Class 5 environment. Riva can print any information on the customizable label, including 1 and 2D barcodes. The label is applied to the syringe inside Riva. The completed patient order then exits through the output chute and Riva is ready for the next order. If the reconstituted vial is completely used, then it is disposed of into one of two waste containers under Riva's compounding area. If the reconstituted vial is not fully used, it would be placed on an in-process shelf with a timer set from the time of the first poke. You decide how to separate waste. For example, you can use one for plastics, one for glass, or one for narcotic waste, one for non-narcotic waste. For more information on how Reba can improve efficiency and accuracy in your pharmacy, visit the Frequently Asked Questions page on this website or call us directly.